Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hot Roulette where we build a team from buying players randomly from the marketplace. But last episode we picked up two players. We picked up Mike Richards and we also picked up Matt Niskanen from Hot Roulette episode number 17. We still got 500,000 coins left to spend so we got a lot of coins left in the bank. And also we are four points in Division 1. We got six games to get the promotion so we're looking pretty good. But if you're looking to buy some cheap NHL coins Remember to check out NHL Coin Market in the link in the description box below. Use Chops for a 5% discount. For today's lineup, I used BTK Games comment on YouTube. Uh, he really nicely designed it, so I thought, you know what, I'll give this uh, lineup a shot. We put Duchesne, Vorchek, and Hall together. We got Kopitar, Richards, and Gabrick together. We got the Los Angeles line there. We got McKinnon, Patretti, Hansel, Oshi, Stasky, and Ladd. So I do like Ladd as a left winger on the fourth line. He's a very solid player. We got Petrangelo, we got Shattenkirk, Niskanen, Boychuk, we got a fast and a slow player there, which I like. Also, Lucas Biza, Bogosian, and Henrik, Lundqvist, and Net. So, let's get this game going. Let's hopefully we can get a win by a good player from the marketplace. Holy crap, what a record. 144-32-0 with this goalie. So, this might be a tough game. I am a little bit under the weather, as you can kind of hear by my voice. It's a little bit uh, groggy, but... Anyway, let's get this game going. Let's see if we can score a couple goals here. Get this game going. Oh, off the crossbar. There it is. In front. There it is. Mike Richards. One to nothing so far. Uh, that was a very nice shot, but you know what? He's not playing a bad game so far, so I got pretty lucky with that one. There it is. There it is. Oh, Kemper makes a huge stop. Oh, there it is, Kopitar, and another one! Two to nothing, Kopitar with a snipe top left cheese. Oh, come on, Voracek, just fanning on it. Don't worry, don't worry, Voracek, we got you a second chance here. Back down a hole, Duchesne! Oh, there's a third goal! We are just absolutely piling it on in the first period. There it is, Duchesne! Oh, ho, 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 you got the puck, buddy, you got the puck! Pass it a hole! Boom! Oh, a nice shot! Oh, how'd that even go in? I don't even know how that went in. It looked like it was out of the net. Alright, let's see a quick replay. Duchesne passes the puck to, I think that was Hansel or Boyle. I have, oh, that's Rick Nash who scored that goal. But that was right on the line. Henrik Lundqvist almost making the save. That's pretty unfortunate. Oh, nice breakaway pass! Nice breakaway pass! Oh, that's nasty. Just missing the net by a little bit. Oh, come on. Right off the face-off. He gets another one, making it 3-2. to two. There you go, Marty Hansel. Shoot! Yes! There is another goal, giving us a little bit of an insurance marker. It's 4-2 to now. Pretty good two-goal lead. Four check shoot! Oh, Darcy Kemper, lay him out! Alright, we got one more shot on that. Maybe that will change the outcome of what the Hut Roulette pickup is, but we win 4-2, to two, uh, bringing us to a two-game win streak, also raising that buy now minimum up by 2k. I'm going to meet you guys there when we buy out that player. Let me just check out the amount of shots. If we got 21 shots that game, he didn't play that bad, but you know what? We still came out with the win. Luckily, we didn't have to pick a name out of the hat. That would have really set our team back, but we can now buy raise that buy now minimum up to 2,000. And we can also, if we win the next game, we can also buy a premium gold jumbo pack for some good players. But let's go count up the amount of players. We got 21 shots. That means the 21st player is going to be chosen. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Joel Thornton, an 89 overall pickup. Not the greatest of centermen, but one of my favorites for sure. Alright, so I didn't really know where to put in Joe Thornton because his stats weren't that great in terms of skating, but I threw him onto the fourth line to replace Paul Stastny because I feel like my centermen are already filled out in those positions. We already got Matt Duchesne, Kobitar, and McKinnon. No point in replacing those guys with Joe Thornton. Uh, maybe I might move him up a couple spots here and there, but I did not want to mess up with the line chemistry. But you guys can let me know what the lineups are for next time, but let's get into the second game and the final game here. Let's see what we can do. Alright, going on to the final game. Let's hopefully 
Win, I want to open up a pack. We have not done that in a while. Okay, point shot. Petrangelo. Oh, did he break his stick or something? I don't even know what happened. Another shot, another shot here. Second one. Get it into the net. All right, so that is the end of the first period. And we're playing a pretty good game so far. Uh, let me just take a look at the shots. 7 to 0 in shots. <laughs> Three minutes time on attack to 1. We are absolutely dominating right now, guys. Come on, Duchesne. Come on, come on. Get the puck into the net. One more chance. Shoot. Oh, Varlamov. Huge save. One more shot. Oh, oh Varlamov again. Oh, come on. He takes one shot and then scores with a defenseman. Now making it one to nothing. I've been outplaying this guy. Come on, Voracek. No, how do you miss that? The full wind of which wrist shots cannot go in. Oh my god, Matthew Shane picks up the puck the final seconds and then ties it up with five seconds left in the third period. Holy crap, guys. Hopefully we don't lose our streak now and I'm going to show you the final third period stats. It's been, oh, it's been outrageous. I should have been winning this game so far. Come on, don't let that... No fucking way did that just go in. I even called it, like, Lengfist, you better fucking save that. That is fucking ridiculous. That is fucking ridiculous. EA once again proving that they are the greatest company ever. A shot, five seconds left, like, come on. Like, you can't get any more unlucky than that. 23 shots to six, eight minutes time on attack to five. Fucking A. We were that close to tying it up and continuing the streak, but no... Lengfist has to pull off the Corey Crawford, so we're going to have to pick a name out of the hat, sorry, position out of the hat, and we're going to see who we're going to get rid of. Hopefully no one on the first lines, because those guys are obviously better than all my other uh, players, but the player we are losing today is the second goalie, the backup goalie, which means that we're getting rid of Mark andre Fleury, because the backup goalie is Mark andre Fleury, my main one is Henrik Lundqvist, so I'm going to get rid of him. We're going to quickly go buy a player after that, and we'll see what we get. All right, so we're going to set that buy now minimum range back down to 50 because we lost our streak. I don't think I've ever seen anything as ridiculous as that. Losing at the final two seconds. We, he scored in three seconds, which made no sense, but all right, we're going to buy the player here, and we're going to choose the 23rd player here, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Lars Eller is going to be our pickup for today. His uh, stats are not bad as well, but we're going to throw him on the team and see where he fits in. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of the episode, and we did put in Lars Eller into the second line, uh, replacing Mike Richards, and we also put in Henrik Lundqvist. Uh, he was always there, but in the backup spot. We did put in Jonas Hiller into the backup spot, just as a replacement for Jonas, uh, or sorry, for Mark andre Fleury Hut Live in the meantime. But anyways, that is going to be it. I, am, I don't even know. That was so unlucky, but... Uh, you guys can let me know in the comment box below what the lineup should look like with Lars Eller as a new pickup, as well as uh, losing Mark andre Fleur, if that is even a thing. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did enjoy this episode, even though we did lose. Anyway, see you guys later, and have a good day. Bye. Alright, so if you guys checked out from before, at least, this was the same lineup. I have not changed it at all. But the third left defenseman is Jason Garrison. So he's going to be off the team for now. I'll do that a little bit later. Mark Andre Fleury is tired as well. So I'm going to put a platoon card. Or I'm going to put in Henrik Lundqvist.